Yeah. Um, but I, what I want to say is Windows 8 on a non-touchscreen device yeah. is psychotically bad. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I really have spent, no, really, some, time, really I really spent some time using this uh, in, in Windows 8 mode. It, it is... I'll just say this to Microsoft right now. You need to get out of this idea that the, the start screen with the swipes and stuff is any viable situation for a desktop or non-touch screen laptop. Yeah. It's it just is, mysterious. There needs, to be, there needs to be a just regular Windows windows that yeah. exists. Like this is, I mean, I, I really have, after having spent some, some quality time, like I'm going to just use this thing for a little while. Um, I mean, not, not weeks and weeks, but days. Uh, psychotically bad. Yeah, so I'm glad they let Steven Sanofsky go. If he was the if he was the mastermind of what they're trying to do, yeah. they put they've put way too much emphasis on touch screens mm -hmm. and way too little emphasis on how people use laptops. And if you yeah. have a three hundred dollar, five hundred dollar, whatever laptop with Windows eight, I really, really feel sorry for you yeah. because their user interface concepts are completely busted for uh, a mouse and keyboard. For a mouse and keyboard, yeah. completely busted and and actually like outrageously so. And um, and they should feel ashamed that there's not a regular desktop mode. And if that doesn't, well, there is a regular desktop mode. No, there isn't. Not really. No, there are things that, that they've made things so difficult. There's a desktop, but you still have the start menu. The start menu is still in, in play, and that menu requires. Yeah. Uh, it requires touching, and if you don't have it, it becomes a very difficult uh, environment to navigate. I, I do not know why Microsoft thought this was a good idea that you would just say, "Hey, if it's touchscreen enabled." Cool touchscreen experience if you want it. If yeah. you don't, turn it off. For non-touchscreen devices, a great lighter weight version of Windows with some great new features. Maybe some of the start menu stuff could be yeah. uh, used as widgets on the desktop. You know, but, then, as, but then how oh, do you maybe a, maybe a side panel? But then how do you just how do you how does Microsoft push adoption of Windows eight for developers? They, they well, that's the I thing. mean, we, I mean, the, the Windows eight, the window. Here's what I've seen with Windows eight: lots of form factors that don't quite make it, yep. a surface that doesn't quite make it as the hybrid device, um, a bad environment for regular laptops and desktops. Mm -hmm. You know what that means to me? Windows eight basically failed in its attempt to bridge this gap and look right. to the future. Uh, the way they solve it is how Apple solved it: they make a tablet interface mm -hmm. for tablets, yeah, and they make a computer interface for computers, yeah, and. Um, if they don't think they can compete with Apple tablet to tablet, then maybe Microsoft shouldn't be trying to make tablet interfaces. Well, you know, so it's I, mean, I don't know what else to say. And, and this is something David and I talked about. I'm not going to say Windows is poison. I think Windows, I think Windows 8 is a fine operating system. It's if not mine. It's a touchscreen. No, it, it's better with a touchscreen. I'm saying, like, in terms of general functionality, speed, yeah. blah, 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 it's fine. It works great. I mean, the Internet Explorer, greatly improved. I, yeah. I mean, I'll give them points for the stuff they did right. In general, though, the yeah. experience is is bad. They've made right. it worse. They've, they've made, to not they made Windows anything. 7 worse right. for a regular computer. And it's shocking when you really use it a lot. So this is 